Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex the Comic Corner. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Today we have a CGC unboxing. This is part two of the series of maybe three videos, maybe four, I'm not sure. The last time we did all Marvel books and this time I'm thinking about doing some DC books. And so there are 15 books in this submission. I did four on the last video. If you didn't check that out, definitely go back and check that one out. Lots of good books, lots of cool grades, interesting stuff. And I think I got all the grades right except for one. I think one I missed on and it was a 9.4 instead of a 9.6. So anyways, let's get into this video. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. Shortbox is the premier marketplace app to buy and sell graded comic books. If you guys want to check out some awesome graded comic books at a great price, go to Shortbox. The link is in the description below. Okay, as, a, as always, I don't know the grades on these books. I submitted them. I didn't check when they got graded and shipped to me. So I had my wife and my son tape them up. And today, the first book that we'll look at is The Killing Joke. This is the first print of The Killing Joke. I'm really excited about this book. It's one of the really uh, classic stories in DC. This book had a crease right here. And there's still a little bit of crease there, even after Paul had pressed it. So I know that was a pretty deep crease. There really wasn't a lot of um, uh, color breaks or anything like that. So there's a crease right there, and it kind of like rippled down to here as well. So there's a crease right there, and it rippled down to there. And so I don't think, this is a really clean book. Um, the, the spine looks great. The, all the edges look really nice. The back even looks good too. I just don't think that this one has 9-8 uh, potential. There's also a corner crunch up there. So with that being said, I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking 9-4 on this one. I really don't want a 9-2. I think with those issues, I think a 9-6 or a 9-8 are kind of out of the question. So I'm guessing 9-4. Um, but boy, I, I don't want a 9-2. We will see. I, I don't want a 9-2. And there's the two. Dang, I knew, I kind of knew it with the corner crunch and the things there. That's fine. I'm, I, I still love this book. It's one of my favorite reads. Um, one of the greatest Batman, excuse me, one of the greatest Joker stories of all time. And so there is, there it is. Nine, two with white pages. I think I paid, I think I got this from Aim High Comics and I probably paid like $50 on one of the auctions in the YouTube community. So really, honestly, we'll see. I'll put the information down here. The census for 9.2s, this, the total number of CGC books, and then also what the value on a 9.2 is. But I think it's probably more than $50 plus grading fees, another $20. So into this book, about $70. Maybe it's worth $70. I don't know. We'll find out down here. Okay, next up, I'll already get to this book because I know this one had some pretty serious issues. This is Harley Quinn number one, and this is one of the New 52 ratio variants, and this is the Adam Hughes cover. And so this is like the normal Adam Hughes cover. It's the variant cover. And the issue with this was there's a little bit of color breaking rubbing up here on this corner. I'm not sure if you can see that. There is some, um, wow, I thought the back was a lot worse than what it is. Honestly, what is up with all the scuffing on the cases? Like, there's so much scuffing. I don't know, like, what is going on. But anyways, I will show you. There are a few color breaks. So there's, like, you can probably see the color breaks. Like, there's one right up here. And then these were the main issues. The black cover in the back. You can see that scuff. Those are on the cases. That's crazy. You can see a scuff down there at the corner. There's another little scuff down here. And I feel like there's scuffs all over. There's like a staple scuff right there. And then there's a scuff in that corner and those scuffs are on the case which kind of is disappointing i don't know like what happened to these things so with all those scuffs please don't be an 80 or an 85 i'm hoping for a 9 90 or 92 
hoping hoping for a nine two. Ooh, don't be an eight. Don't be an eight. Okay, nine zero. Not bad, not bad. I knew this book um, had issues, but it's one of my favorite covers and one of my favorite variants. So I wanted to get it graded. Um, like I said, to get it encased. It's not definitely not a book I'm going to be sitting here flipping through and reading. So happy to have this book. I think 9.0 is fine for this one. Um, I thought it was going to be lower, like 8.0, 8.5. So a 9.0 is just fine for me on this Harley Quinn Adam Hughes cover. Really kind of a neat, great, uh, great cover. Okay, next up is a book that came out in 2018. I missed the chance because I kind of did a hiatus on buying new books when this one came out. And I'm so sad that I missed it. And ever, you know, I even pointed out to a lot of friends, you know, probably in the 9.2 crew, hey, this cover is great. And I think we were all talking about it. it's Josh Middleton cover, but this is Batgirl number 23. Really great uh, Joshua Middleton cover. Awesome, awesome book. I don't know being a white cover what this one is going to be. It, it's really, it presents really well. I got this from Jeremy Edwards. It presents really well. I can see one spine tick right there, and I knew that one was there. I knew it was kind of a deep, deep spine tick. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but the, all the other edges are great. Um, it, this one needed a cleaning, and I tried to do some cleaning myself, and so I had Paul do a professional cleaning because I knew that, that it would need it. I think this one is 9.8 potential, but I have a feeling that that one deep spine tick may give us issues. So I'd really like a 9.8, but I won't be surprised and won't be disappointed with a 9.6. And so the back looks really good. I don't know if you need to see the back, but it, back is really great. I'm guessing, okay, I think I already see it, 9.6. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome book. This is a cover, you know, cover by and it's just a book that I love the cover. And so Joshua Middleton's killing it in D on DC variants. And so this is one of the best ones that came out in 2018. So I'm really happy to own this and to have it in a 9.6 white pages is awesome. All right, we might as well do one more on this video. And this last one, I don't have super high expectations for this book because there are some noticeable issues. I just wanted to get it graded to get it encapsulated, find out what the professionals think of this one. So this is my copy of Batman Adventures 12, the first appearance of Harley Quinn. I bought this in a record store and they knew what it was. I paid $100 for this book. But when I saw the price tag of 100 bucks, I was like, yeah, that's a no brainer. Of course I'll pay that price. Um, there are some spine ticks on this book. Let me see if I can find spine ticks. There's a couple spine ticks right there, two right there, and then one up here. So total of three spine ticks on the front. Paul really made this nice. There's a few issues on the back spine, but not, not anything really terrible. This is definitely not a 9.8. It's, it's definitely not a 9.8. It's definitely not a 9.6 because, you know, about four spine ticks or so. Uh, it's probably a 9.2 or a 9.4, really hoping for a 9.4. I think that would be a very, very solid grade for this book for paying a hundred bucks for it. And I already kind of see, yeah, there's the four. So <laughs> here we go. 9.4, hey, that's great. 9.4 white pages for a hundred bucks. So I paid a hundred bucks. I'll be putting the census information down here as well. I'm, I'm sure that, that the census on this is pretty high. It's a very, very popular book. And there was a huge boom, you know, when Suicide Squad came out of this getting graded. So I'm sure that skyrocketed the census. I'm sure there's probably a lot of 9.4s and 9.6s. And then also um, paying $100, the return on investment is probably really pretty good for this book because I would assume this is probably a three or $400 book in a 9.4. So very, very happy with 9.4. This isn't the last DC book in this box, but I'm probably going to spread this out to two more videos, um, do quick ones so that we can uh, have content for the next couple weeks as we go into Christmas. So really excited about this one.
And with that being said, you guys leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys thought of these books and these grades. Like I said, I'm not, didn't have huge expectations for these books. Wanted to just get some of my favorite books in my collection, pressed, cleaned, and graded. And so happy to have uh, what I think are pretty darn good grades for the condition of books that I sent in. So um, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when the next video is coming up. It'll be a CGC video, hopefully. And with that being said, we'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya, bye.